Hello everyone, it's Fine and Steady, and today the markets are recovering. That applies as well for the crypto markets. I'm going to give you the technical analysis in the trading charts of Cardano, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. Let's get right into it and let's start with Cardano. All right, guys, I've got Cardano open here on the four hourly candles. And as we see here, there's a falling wedge forming. And if I take the price target from the top of the pad, from the top of the pattern to the bottom of the pattern, well, and we see right here at the breakout, this would give us an imminent price target of around 1.3 from 1.17, which is a measured move up of about still 12, 11 percent. That's still quite high. And if we zoom out longer term, I'll give you as well a more longer term price target. But let me go then to the dailies. And as you can see here, Cardano has just been pumping like absolutely crazy from around what what's this 0.3? 0.3 so maybe let's zoom in a little bit more on this price pattern here and I'll take the Fibonacci's from there so let me just make this a little nicer for us all right there we go and if I take them the Fibonacci retracements and I take it from the bottom of this pattern well let me do it this way until the bottom of the pattern right so from the top around here to the bottom around here and I'm looking for the 1.68 which is usually where it likes to hang out next that's usually the price target that's being seeked next and and look how crazy is this the 1.687 price target is 1.687 i mean <laughs> i've actually never seen that i'm actually laughing for real right now uh that's absolutely crazy that must be some kind of sign but uh yeah my long-term price target is exactly 1.687 which is exactly the fibonacci number that 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 that's too good you can't make this stuff up all right let's move on to bitcoin so for Bitcoin, I've zoomed in again a little bit and we need to actually go away from the daily patterns. But you know what? Let me do something else for you guys here, something we haven't done before. And let me grab a line pattern here. And on the line pattern, you see more or less that there's a W forming. And if I zoom in to the four hourlies and then zoom out a little bit, well, we can see even that we have a head and shoulders pattern. So if I take the small shoulder being here to here, to here and then we take the head over here and back down to I don't know let's go with this and then we're making the right shoulder now so let's go to about here and back down to here well what we see is that actually we've just now had a bit of a breakout so let me go back into the candles then and on the candles, see it's a bit easier to see on the line graph but I, I promise you this is a head and shoulders pattern and we have broken out but the problem is that we haven't gotten any type of volume support yet so this is like not yet confirmed what I would expect to see then in this case is most likely we're going to see the pattern break back down retest this line that's forming here let me draw this line a little bit better uh, so from here to here ish that's the trend line so I would expect this to actually come back down retest this line we would then see a volume confirmed bounce and that's the moment that this pattern actually is manifesting itself but if you guys want a short-term price target well we take it from the bottom of the pattern to the head of the pattern approximately there and if we push this right on the breakout I'm probably going to need to zoom out a little bit yeah most likely yes and this is going to bring us wow this is this is crazy this will bring us back to a price target of around 60,576 which I do think would actually be a new all-time high and this is the short-term price target for Bitcoin so in the short term it is possible if this comes back down and it bounces and we see a volume candle I don't know the volume let's say around here ish well then I would be comfortable saying that this pattern is manifesting itself and that this 60,500 US dollar price target once again becomes imminent and we will be going to a new all-time high let me give you as well a longer term price target based on the Fibonacci retracements so once again if we take it from the swing high high to the swing low and we're looking for the 1.68 well the 1.68 would be all the way up here at around what, what's this let me get that nicely sixty-seven thousand seven hundred and seventy dollars that would be more or less a longer term price target but guys for bitcoin especially on the way there we're going to have a lot of resistance because there's a lot of psychological barriers we got to get through but if we do end up 
back at the all-time high, I do think this would be the next price target. As always, as an experienced trader, you need to know what to do given each situation that is unfolding. And on the flip side, if this pattern were to break down significantly back under this head and shoulders trend line, well, then you have to move the price target back down here and we will probably see a region of 45,000 US dollars again. Right now, it's more likely that it's breaking out seeing as we do actually have a breakout towards the upside. But in case it were to break down and this were to be confirmed again, well, then most likely we will be going back down to around the levels that I just mentioned. So what was that? 45,000 ish. But I do believe it's more likely that this is going to continue going up. We're going to hit around 61,000 in the short term. And once we hit 61,000, that means our next price target is right up here at the 1.618 Fibonacci levels. And that would bring us to around 67,500 US dollars. Now, the last one that's missing is Ethereum. Let's go to Ethereum. Okay guys, we're with the four hourly candles of Ethereum chart and there's already a head and shoulders pattern here which has actually broken out with maybe a little bit of volume confirmation and I'm gonna show you what the short term price target is of this pattern but most likely we're already pretty much all the way there. So let me draw this for you guys right now and let's take this shoulder like this down here, right? And then let's draw the head over here just like this. This is pretty fun feel like I'm in kindergarten again. So let's see, and right about here. So we do see that the volume came in right around the time that it was breaking out. And if we were to draw then a price target as we do it always from the bottom of the pattern to the head of the pattern, well, this is gonna give us a price target right back around near the all time high actually of approximately 20,021 US dollars. And that is still a movement of approximately 10%, right? If you leverage that a little bit, that can be a nice sum of money. So that's the short term price target for Ethereum. And just like the other two, if we draw the Fibonacci's from the swing high to the swing low, and then we look for the 1.618 area, well, that's gonna bring us all the way up to 2,500 US dollars. Now, for Ethereum, that's still a ways away, and I do think that we're going to have quite a lot of resistance on the way there. I think that it's most likely for Cardano to pump the hardest to its 1.618 level. Next, we're probably gonna see Bitcoin do it. And then third, we're probably gonna see Ethereum do it just because there's quite a few psychological levels over here. But I do think that once Ethereum hits this level, I think that all bets are off and, and pretty much it can go straight to the moon. So guys, as always, make sure you do your own analysis before you make trades. Thank you guys for watching. That was your emergency update on the charts for Cardano, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. See you guys in the next one.